the Detroit Lions, they rank 26 in the NFL, 48% in offensive, offensive red zone efficiency. Mm. Tw- 26. That's not good. On the other side of the ball, on the defense red zone effic- efficiency, so s- stopping play- teams from scoring in the red zone, 72%, which ranks 30th in the NFL. That's more surprising to me. Yes. So my key to uh, second key to victory is dominating in the red in the red zone today or t- on Sunday. Get in the red zone, score touchdowns. Get touch in the down, red zone, score points. touchdowns. If they get in the red zone, find a way to hold them to get a turnover, force them to a field goal. Find a way to get them out of out of rhythm there because this is this is the thing here, Boater, is in games like this, these are games to where you're supposed to win. These are games to where you can find those things and turn them around. In the last two weeks, they like the Dan Campbell, Ben Johnson, um, Aaron Glenn, they've talked about the red zone continuously. And last week, they obviously didn't change anything about it like they struggled a little bit this week is like all right you're playing the easier team than the chargers go out there and dominate something you haven't been great at the red zone there you have to you have to have to finish your drives and you have to stop them from getting points when they get in the red zone 100 percent. because 30 at the 26 is just you're you're like i say this is a contending team you can't go in a super bowl doing that in the red zone yeah and, and i think getting david montgomery back helps in the red zone on offense because he missed a couple games um and uh donovan people's jones i think is going to be an added benefit we'll see how ben johnson works him into the offense what surprised me though was the defensive statistics maybe it's just uh, um s- since the chargers game was the most recent one we got to see that goal line stand i just yep. think of them as being maybe stronger than they are but 30th man that's low